gives me a good deal of pleasure to approve H.R. 5555, a bill to amend Title 37, the United States Code, to increase the rates of basic pay for members of the uniformed services and for other purposes. I want to commend the members of Congress, the House and Senate, who worked so hard to pass this most essential bill. In the last three years, I've had an opportunity to visit a good many military units, the Army, the Air Force, and the Navy. I have uh, some idea of uh, how fortunate we are to have their service at the disposal of the United States. Every citizen of this country owes them a greater debt than they, that they, than they realize that they are able in a very prosperous and peaceful country to live as secure as they do because of the dedicated service of so many hundreds and thousands of our fellow citizens who serve in this country and all around the globe. One million Americans serve outside our borders, and uh, I think that uh, the peace of the and the peace of this world of ours and its security have depended in a good measure upon the members of the military of the United States. And while we all are necessarily and properly respectful and impressed with the constantly more powerful weapons which are being developed, I think it's important that we realize that it's the men who uh, must manage them, control them, and have the will to uh, direct them. So I think this is a very important bill. I think in some ways that uh, we are taking care of a matter which uh, should have should press very heavily upon us. I think there's been inadequate compensation. I think that this bill will encourage, I hope, men to stay in the armed services, increase its professional quality, and uh, most importantly at all, make it easier for them to sustain uh, their families who must undergo considerable sacrifice themselves.